Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Um, so I did ask you guys to send me questions through my Snapchat, also through my... Um, I posted on my makeup page and I also posted on my Instagram. So first I'm going to go with the ones from Instagram. Um, hold up. So the ones from Instagram, the first comment say it's from It's Hope by, that's her username, and it says, so you like doing your Facebook lives more in English or in Spanish? So Spanish is my first language, but we'll talk in English makeup related stuff because I know more uh, references in English than I do in Spanish. So I do like doing them better in English. Next question comes from big.mac28 and it says, are you going to do a whole bunch of fall tutorials? But yeah, next question is from I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it says K.R. Hendrix 13. It says, if you could meet any beauty guru, who would it be and why? Honestly, if I could meet a beauty guru, it would probably have to be either Jeffree Star or Manny MUA, like hands down, like hands down. Reason being is because Manny MUA and Jeffree Star both, like they just don't care about what people think about them about their videos, about how they live their life, about how they do their makeup. And I kind of feel that way myself. I don't really care what people think about me. A lot of people judge me on my size, that I'm too fat or whatever. And I honestly don't care. I mean, if I was self-conscious about how I looked, wouldn't you guys think that I wouldn't be making videos? I wouldn't be wearing like these type of shirts. Like, I honestly don't care what other people think of me. I'm doing these videos for the people that actually appreciate them, not for the people that are just going to be hating and telling me shit. I honestly don't care. Anyways, next question before I get to turn up, and then I'm going to start cussing and blocking away all the freaking haters. Anyways, next question is from ah Ahlam Means Dreams. And it says, would you ever consider moving away from Texas when your channel becomes a hit? Honestly, I really, really, really am like praying to the gods, praying to the gods that my YouTube channel does become like a big channel. Tell me why my double chin is bigger on this side than it is on this side. Like, I just noticed that shit. Um. Awkward. Anyways, but I do want to move somewhere else. Um, I want to move to LA, but I also want to move to Florida. Um, but yeah, I probably will move when my, if, not when, if my YouTube channel does become a hit. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to be making videos like constantly and whatnot, but yeah, I'm really, really hoping that my YouTube channel makes it big someday. Last comment on my Instagram post is from Kimberly. She also has a YouTube channel, so shout out to Kimberly. Um, she always uh, shouts me out. Well, not always, but, you know, whenever she talks about me, she always, like, mentions my YouTube channel. So shout out to Kimberly. Um... What do you like most and dislike about being on YouTube? So what I really like the most about being on YouTube is that I get to express how I feel and I get to show you guys um, the work I do. I don't use do YouTube videos to show you guys how to do your makeup. I do YouTube videos just to show you guys how I do my makeup and if you guys want to um, take any tips or tricks from what I do. I really do appreciate that. Um, so let's see. For my questions on my Facebook post, um, Liz Abbott mentioned or suggested this question. She said, have you ever gotten really depressed and do you have any suggestions? 
I actually do suffer from depression and anxiety. I know um, a lot of people might not think that because of the way I carry myself, but um, having YouTube as a hobby has really helped me a lot because it distracts my mind from having all these bad thoughts. And I really would suggest you find something that you really enjoy doing. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It doesn't have to be makeup. It could be, um, I don't know, drawing, listening to music, cleaning. I love cleaning. Um, but yeah, I would really suggest you finding a hobby that you really like so that you can get distracted by that. Next question is from Joanna Luna. She says, do you have a boyfriend? What do you do for fun? And how old are you? LOL. So I'm 20 years old. I just turned 20 on July 19th. Um, what do I do for fun? Usually I go out to the movies. I go out to eat. Um, I, I hang out with my friends like here at my apartment. But I don't really like going out clubbing and stuff. It's just not my type of environment. Um, I always see like people posting on Snapchat like they're going out, having fun, drinking, whatnot. But honestly, it's not my kind of environment. Um, I'm more of like the type of like hanging out at a house type of party girl um, And I do have a boyfriend, but I do like to keep my personal life personal um, Maybe later when my YouTube grows a little bit more I'll be a little bit more open about that But for now, I do have a boyfriend just very personal the next question is from Liz Guzman she says do you live alone? Where is your family? Do they support your YouTube dreams? Um, I do live alone. I don't talk to my family. Um, I wish them the best. I wish um, good things go their way, but I do not talk to them. Do they support my YouTube dream? Honestly, I'm not sure if they know that I do YouTube videos. I know my sister does know that I do YouTube videos and she very much supports what I do. Next question is from Perla. She says, what do you do for a living if you don't work? Do you have a family? I don't have a family. I don't have kids. I do have a dog. Her name is Cleo. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already seen her. Um, what I do for a living, I kind of like to keep that personal. How do you keep your face so clear? Comes from Ashley Lopez. I do have, I do have a skincare routine if you guys want to check that out. I'll link it down on the description down below. And then the last question comes from Elizabeth Rocha. She says, what's your favorite red lipstick? My favorite li red lipstick would have to be Milani in Striking. Um, I got this at Walmart for, I believe, $7. So I got a lot of Snapchat questions talking about why did I start my YouTube video? What inspired me to start my YouTube video? And what do I hope comes out of my YouTube channel? So first... What inspired me to do my YouTube videos? Um, I'm not really sure what inspired me. Um, I just like doing videos for you guys. It really um, helps me build up my self-esteem. Because to be honest, there's a lot more great comments that come out of this, uh, this channel than bad comments. And that's all that really matters to me. Um, I really do appreciate all of you guys' comments. Um, and what I hope for this, the outcome of this channel to be is, I really hope it grows. And I know with the help of you guys, um, it will grow in time. It's a slow process, but it's a process that I'm willing to take and I'm willing to work with. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you guys can get notified when I make my videos. Um, I'm not sure what video I will be doing next, but if you do have any video recommendations, make sure you comment down below. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!